drop a like and do share leave your comments and do not forget to subscribe for more videos hi everyone welcome to this concluding lecture on the course on introduction to material science and engineering offered by edupedia world today we will not discuss any new topic we will just revisit all the things we studied in throughout this uh, course and we'll see what are the future prospects of studying material science and engineering what are the future topics that you might like to study to further your knowledge after this introductory course so in this whole course different chapters we discussed we mainly focused on several concepts and the focus was mainly on metals right we discussed about the major concepts using metal and metal systems we did not really jump into ceramics polymers or composites the idea of this course was to introduce you with the different ideas rather than specific systems okay now what have we discussed we in started by our discussion on introduction to materials where i discussed briefly about the different uh, systems of metals polymers ceramics electronic materials and stuff then we saw the chemistry behind materials that is the atomic structure we studied about crystal structure and crystallography this was important because all the metal systems and the basic of material science depends on the crystal structure that is present and it is important to understand crystallography and how to study the crystal structure then we saw details about defects and imperfections and how they are pivotal how they play pivotal role in our understanding and the properties of different materials we discussed about diffusion behavior then we saw the different mechanical properties like tensile property Uh, then we discussed hardness and other several other mechanical properties study deformation behavior and strengthening mechanisms this was a interesting topic which uh, was used to increase the strength of materials what were the different strengthening mechanisms then we jumped into phase diagram and we saw what is the relevance of phase diagram what is the utility of phase diagram and why exactly we need phase diagrams then we discussed about iron carbon system now we were focusing on a particular aspect a particular type of system and using that system we understood the concept of phase diagrams much better we discussed about continuous cooling curves time temperature transformation previous set of lectures we discussed about uh, the different kind of heat treatment processes that exist and finally we concluded by discussing certain important metal alloy systems both in the ferrous and the non ferrous regime what we did not discuss was in depth study of ceramics polymers and composites the idea as i said was to introduce you to the basic physics of things and you to give you a holistic uh, birds i view about what material science and engineering is rather than to go in depth into all different things okay what we did not touch upon at all was thermodynamics we just saw gives free energy diagrams uh, in a few slides but we did not touch upon thermodynamics at all we did not see any surface treatment processes no manufacturing processes extractive metallurgy was completely excluded we just took it as a matter of fact that we have iron how do we get iron we did not discuss that we discussed heat treatment very in a very shallow manner we did not go in details at all phase transformation mechanical behavior we just touched upon these topics but these all topics which i am pointing out here are a course in itself so it was not possible to go in details in this introductory course we did not discuss anything about material characterization techniques we just said that we require such and such property right but how exactly do we measure those properties we did not go into those details this is also a whole course in itself 
corrosion several times i mentioned that materials corrode or material material has a good corrosion property but uh, no details about corrosion was discussed electrical magnetic optical thermal properties none of the properties was discussed in any details transport phenomena we just touched upon diffusion but we did not go into the depth of transport phenomena the idea which i am trying to throw here is that we have a lot of things in material science and engineering and each of them are in itself a course or couple of courses the idea of this introductory course was just to give you a glimpse of the world of material science and engineering not to go into depth about any of them so if you are interested in any of these courses which i mentioned then i would suggest go pick up a book and try to start reading this introductory course have given you a, a brief idea about each of them then you can pick further from that concept and understand each of them right so hopefully you have stayed with me till this last lecture and uh, more importantly you have picked up some important things and you developed a good taste for material science and engineering and i hope you take further courses on this uh, regime which is a very good field for research and kind of a futuristic course rather than uh, a tra traditional course right so i thank you all to be a part of this course thank you again have a great future and uh, hopefully you will take more interest in uh, courses on material science and engineering so hopefully you enjoyed the whole course have a great day goodbye